good morning, hoes. <laughs> Y'all wanted a realistic life in the day because that's what you're getting. This is Squilliam. Address him as such or don't address him at all. I don't know where this energy came from. It's fucking 7 a.m. But any hoosies, y'all wanted a day in the life of my, you know, chaotic cow mom, business owner, dog nanny. If you didn't know that, I also am a dog nanny. I picked today to do the day in the life because that's the day I'm going to have a shift there. Let's get up. Let's get motivated. Let me show you what we're going to do today. Okay. Oh, the boo isn't here to bitch at me. But I am going to go ahead and top off my food so that I can live another day in this house because she runs it. And we got to get some for Doja because she's in the Doja Kitty Palace. Hi, BB. Now, her pen usually does get dirty because of her broken pelvis and kitty litter, so I have to clean it. Zazaley. Hi, BB. Good morning. Oh, yeah, you really fuckered it up, didn't you, sis? Oh, hell yeah. You said, oh, this is my litter box? Just kidding. I made it into a sand box. You want to build sand castles? Good morning. Yes, you can come out here for some love. Hi, baby. This little sweet potato is next. Is it time for your meds? Let's go. We got to get you your meds. He has Cushing's hypertension and high blood pressure because he's my medical little problem. So we have to have our medicine, huh? Good morning, sweet little boy. Good morning, my little potato. Good morning. Let's get you your meds, okay? Okay, next up, Splami needs food. And there's my barn shoes. We'll slip those on because we're going out there next. Let's get you some food, buddy. You excited? You want some brekkie? There you go. There's the bitch that runs the house. There she runs. Somebody's got to pee before I uh, go do my stuff. He's standing by the door like, woman, I'm crossing my legs. I got to pee like you wouldn't believe. Let me out here. Go potty. Yep, piss right on my mom's plants. She loves that. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good little pee. to worship the Cocker Spaniel statue. Get in there, and I'll be back to hang out in a second. What's up, sluts? How y'all doing? <laughs> Doobie looked like, don't ever disrespect me like that again. So, a funny misconception. Am I wearing my pajamas and without pants? 100%. Um, so a funny misconception, a lot misconception. Good Lord. It's seven in the morning. A funny misconception a lot of people have is like when I'm like, oh yeah, I live on a farm and blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, you have to get out of like 6 a.m. and you have to do all this shit. No, I have a pet farm. They're like pets. I just have to make sure that they're alive and don't need any medical attention. Um, especially like calving season can be a little bit more on hand and a little bit more taxing. But right now they're on full pasture and everyone's had a baby but Leona. So it's pretty chill what I have to do. But Kaylee does have show calves in the barn. So I need to go feed those little lovely latex. Good morning, my little squirrelies. Hi, Onyx. Do you need some feet? Yeah, you're almost out. We'll get you some fresh, okay? Hi, baby. What's what's Phoenix doing back there? Hey, girl. Oh, you want some brekkie? Hell yeah, girl. Yeah, get you some breakfast. Hell yeah, girl. Get you some nice little brekkie for you this morning. It's all, it's, since they're on full pasture, they don't really uh, take that much attention right now. Benny's coming up here. Um, it's been raining a lot, so that's why this little area is so flipping muddy. They have access to the other field, but they like this one because it has the barn, and the barn is absolutely disgusting right now. That's our uh, goal, but they're probably all in there, so I can show you yep. real quick. Here's some Crocs I had on that I wore in there. That was a bad decision, but yeah, they're just gonna all be packed in here like sardines, just chilling. This is what they like to do with their day. They have access to the creek where there is plenty of cool places. They are just lazy and don't give a damn. So they're just gonna hang out in the barn and they can do that if they want. I don't give a shit, that's why it's here. But yeah, this is what they're doing. So nothing crazy I have to do for my moo cows when they're on full pasture. They're pretty, pretty easy. You just, like I said, daily health check just to make sure that nobody's got anything weird going on and stuff like now, that. The reason why I woke up a little bit earlier today is because I dog sit and I knew I needed to get stuff done because like I had a sale going on this past week. So I have a bunch of orders I need to drop off at the post office and um, I knew I wanted to run through and do a body shower before. So that's why I woke up a little extra early. Normally, um, I usually wake up around like eight is usually the chef's kiss peak time, but I woke up a little earlier today so I knew I could have time to get shit okay. done. So now, this is my office. Oh God. They just 
throw y'all around. Make sure you keep the motion sickness medications. So these are all the packages <laughs> that I need to put in a bag and take to the post office because y'all didn't mess around with the sale. I appreciate it, okay? So I need to get these all downstairs and ready to go in my truck and then I'll probably shower. <laughs> I was hot so i just showered so now i am going to just put on some stuff for my face that is the best and worst thing about being a full feral queen is that i just don't do anything anymore like i don't really get ready um i just don't i don't put makeup on ever like hardly and so i just i use the tula um toner do i know what a toner does no but do i use it also, while I let that sit in for a second, somebody commented me in my uh, lives about my skin being nice. Thank you. It's called, I had childhood eczema. So I was conditioned to put lotion on every time I got out of the shower. I remember I would go to like um, sleepovers and people didn't do that. And I was like, I thought it was illegal to not put lotion on after your shower. But then I remembered it's because my skin would turn into an alligator if I didn't. Um, and of course we all love the like super fragrancy. Like I want to smell like a vanilla shortcake fart as much as anybody else but i don't think they're good for you so i just use lubriderm um unscented i use this for my tattoos but i just use it on my whole body now because you know i think it's better for your skin so that's what i do and then for my face i'm just gonna put some moisturizer on and then i'm out the dough i don't have pants on but you know you don't see that uh i really like this pure four-in-one cloud cream um I got it instead of the Tula because the lady at Alta said that it was just, it was like the very, sim oopsies, very similar ingredients, but it was literally half the price. And I was like, you know what? I love that. I love a bargain because I do not have that kind of money to just spend $80 on a moisturizer if I have, if there's a $40 one that can do the exact same fucking thing. And I think that was the price difference. I think the, the Tula one was 80 and this one was like 38 and it lasted me a long time. So I really like it. It's very nice, very lightweight. And I'm probably just gonna leave my hair in a bun cause it needs to be washed tomorrow. And so that is quite literally all I'm doing to go be a dog nanny today. <laughs> She's feral. I mean, I'm gonna put pants on, but other than that, that's it. Maybe some deodorant so you know I don't stink. But that's it. Okay, so I've just been <clears throat> watching TikToks and now I need to get ready to actually leave to go dog sit and drop off that stuff at the post office. Um, so I need to pack my lunch, but I'm also gonna make my coffee and I thought I'd show you because I'm obsessed with the vanilla sweet cream cold brew and then I add caramel. So I'm gonna show you how I make it at home because I think it's pretty freaking close. So, cow cup on brand. And I just take some classic caramel and you just add has, uh, however much you want. Starbucks cold brew. Beautiful. Ice. Draw me one piece of ice. He is an ice machine. And then I made this sweet cream on my TikTok. It's actually pretty freaking accurate and it's only three ingredients. So then I just throw a little dollop of daisy of that. And it's so freaking good. So there, you can make it at home. Oh, that's gonna forget to pack. I drink a liquid IV every single day, mainly because I like making sure I'm hydrated, but the lemon lime flavor has a hold on me. But I wanted to say I am an affiliate with them. Um, I don't have to make videos. I just have a code. It's Lacey M. Evans. You get 25% off and free shipping. I just love their shit. But my mom likes their energy and she wanted me to tell you that it's Teresa approved. She drinks one every morning. She just made hers, but she freaking loves this shit. So I had to stock her up and I use my code. So if you want to try some liquid IV or you like it already, Use code LACM Evans for 25% off and free shipping. It's going in my bag. Thought I'd do a real quick update. So I just dropped off my packages at the post office. The post office closest to my house is not where I have my P.O. box because I'm a smart bitch and I didn't want to have my post, like my P.O. box super close to my house um, for obvious reasons. So they're always so nice there. The girl that's always there, she must be on vacation because there's been a different girl the two times I've went this week, which good for her. But um, she's also very nice. Um, I always feel bad, but at the same time, like it's our job you're fine especially now that mine are just you she just has to scan them because i already print the uh 
package stuff but that one's also like not busy at all like ever so <laughs> the other girls usually like you give me something to do I'm never mad and I'm like okay I'm sorry so I just like to make sure I don't want to be too much but now I am headed to my um kind of day job I only work there part-time but it's honestly the best job I've ever had I got in contact with this lovely couple who has an Irish wolfhound and she, uh, they, they just enjoy having her not be crated while they work. Um, they are blessed to work from home, but they have offices that they work in. And so they just have me come in a couple days a week and keep her company and stuff so that they can get some real good work done. And I love it. They also travel for work a lot. So um, when they do that, I do day shifts and stuff, but it's, like I said, I love that dog so much, and so I am going over there now, because I work from 10 to 5, or 10 to 6, so that's where I'm headed now, and maybe I'll do a quick update while I'm actually there, um, kind of explain what I do there, and then maybe you can see Luna, because she's a sweetie. She's a big old girl, but I love her so much. She's my big today. I am helping her take <laughs> the dog to the vet. We just weighed her. She's 104 pounds, and still growing, because she's not even 8 months old. She's an Irish wolfhound, like I said, so she's a big girl. So normally while I am in dog sitting, it is a great time for me. I usually just sit in their kitchen and I'm able to get a lot of like the business side, the more annoying like paperwork side. Like um, I stay up to date on my taxes here, emails, put together orders, um, update things on my website. Like any of the stuff that I can do on my iPad or my phone, I get a lot of that shit done while I'm here, which is actually really nice because it makes me like do that more boring star like stuff of my job owning my own business um i do that in between when she's napping because like obviously i need to keep her busy and go play time and make sure she's fed and all that jazz but yeah that's what i do while i'm here uh it's 4 15 i leave here at 6 and i had to call the cops because there's a random person at my house and maybe if it's safe i'll do a story time on that but for right now it is not safe for me to talk about it so Let's just hope my, I get home and there's not utter chaos. I'm not gonna lie, with all the chaos I was talking about earlier, I kind of forgot to update the vlog. So let me run through. I got home, I checked Kaylee's heifers, I, te I checked Doji Kitty, and then I came up, I ate some dinner. I had pizza rolls, I was very fancy tonight because I was just hungry and I was just tired and I knew I needed to get some more calories in for the day. So now, um, I just finished orders, so I don't have pants on, so I'm gonna just trying to, we had a good success, well that's just today and last, what we just did on live. Here's the chaotic mess I have to clean up, all the paper that I need to recycle. Um, so now I'm just gonna go downstairs and give Drama his meds, and then probably get some more water and then lay in bed, because I'm tired, I'm hot, my office does not have air conditioning. I think I'm gonna treat myself to an air conditioner tomorrow because I have had a very successful sale this week, so. I think I deserve an air conditioner in here so I don't sweat my ass off and it's a business expense so I think I'm gonna make myself pull that one but yes I will maybe I'll show you it is really cute one because when drama gets his meds all the dogs get a treat so I think I'm gonna show you that it's weaner time what what it's weaner time say what Alpine you coming in for weaner time hell yeah hell yeah they get the all natural Angus hot dogs if you're gonna come for me for giving my dog a little hot dog treat, then this is the wrong page for you. Cause that man has Cushing. And then they just enjoy a nice little hot dog treat. But it's the good ones. And I don't care. Because look how happy they get for hot dog time. They're so excited. All right, I gotta give drama his meds. Everybody ready? I'm glad, I'm glad you all came over here. I actually have been meaning to talk to you about something. JK, let me get you your winners. So now, after that day, I'm usually not this exhausted. That whole issue earlier though just kind of mentally drained me. And I'm just 50 shades of done with today. So I'm going to lay in bed, watch a show, and uh, watch some TikToks. Am I going to bed when the sun is still out? Absolutely. Don't judge me, okay? I love to lay in my bed for a few hours and decompress, okay? But anyway, that's my day. I'll brush my teeth too real, a little bit later, but that is my day in the life. Sometimes it's not always as chaotic. Sometimes it's more chaotic. It just depends. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a like. You can subscribe for more content. But yeah, with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.